What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Funko 411. I hope you all are doing well. As you can see right here, we have our very first box from Smy World. All right, before we rip into the box, let's go ahead and take a look at that box breakdown. All right, so this box costs $60. There was $9 in shipping costs, so that gave us a total cost of $69. Uh, there was a guaranteed value of 60 bucks, so that was good. Um, there were 100 boxes available. Each box was supposed to come with two to four pops, and then box condition for these was supposed to be a seven to a 10. So we'll go ahead and rip into this. We'll see how we did. We will analyze them. We will look at the pops. We'll see if we got anything good. Um, top hits with this, uh, this is something I don't really love that companies are doing, but the top hit with this was a PS5. So I think this is like a trick that some of the mystery box companies do. And I'm not saying that they're, they're doing it like, well, actually I guess I am. They're doing it because they're hoping that you open this box and you find that PS5 coupon or whatever is supposed to be in there and that you throw it away on accident and they don't have to give you the, the PS5. But I don't really love when they do like the coupon stuff because it, it requires you to have to reach back out to them and get it rather than them just sending it to you. Obviously they can't send you a PS5, but some companies even do it with like a pop. You know, they'll be like, oh, well you got a coupon for a, a $200 pop that you have to reach out to us and get it. It's like, well, you're doing that because you're just hoping that no, the person's not gonna reach out or they're not gonna see the coupon. But anyway, here's a smile box. Let's go ahead, let's rip into it. Let's see what we got. Uh, let me scoot it over because I can see that there's at least something at the top. You can see what it is. Let's see. Paper out of the way. My box has three pops. One in a protector. Two in a... No, one in a protector. Just the one. Just the one in a protector. So we will start all that. The one in the protector is at the top. All right, so we'll start off with the ones that are not in a protector, they're just bubble wrapped. First one is Mr. Monopoly. Mr. Monopoly in jail. Uh, this is definitely a common. This is a newer pop, a year, year old. I actually have this one because I do collect the Monopoly pops. I do have like all of the Mr. Monopolies. Um, I like this pop, but it will be a sale one for me because I have it already, but $10 probably, 10, 12 bucks. Second one is Deadpool in Cake. This one, pretty sure is like brand, brand new, still available. Yeah, this one's 2021. This one's a few months old. There's like a, I think there's a Target exclusive one that's similar to this. Um, yeah. 10 bucks. I'm hoping then that that means that our um, our last one that's in the protector must be pretty good. So let's take a look and see what our last one in the protector is because we did have a guaranteed value of, what did I say, 60 bucks. So it's got to be pretty decent. One, two, three. It is Leonard Hofstadter in robe. I think this is from the second wave, right? This isn't the older one now. This is from 2019. I mean, I guess it could have some value now. I don't remember it being that valuable. I remember, I feel like it wasn't that long ago. I remember seeing this in the stores. Take it out of the protector. Leonard Hofstadter in a robe. I wasn't really a big fan of the Big Bang Theory. Personally, I know that I'm in the minority on that, but um, yeah, we'll see what the value is on that. I didn't think he was worth that much, but maybe I'm guessing he must be worth $40, I guess. Um, that, that would be my guess because I'm assuming the ranking is going to be 40, 10, 10. We definitely didn't get one of the higher end boxes, so 40, 10, 10 would be my guess. Let's, um, let's take a look. All right, so I was pretty close. The Leonard Hofstadter is coming in at 45. Mr. Monopoly is coming in at 16. 
and then the Deadpool in cake is coming in at nine dollars all right so let's go ahead and check out the total value that we got on this box okay so the total value that we ended up getting from this set of pops was seventy dollars our total cost was sixty nine dollars so that ended up giving us a profit of one dollar so we at least got our money back we made a buck um, a dollar against that $69 cost ended up being a 1.45% return on our investment. So not bad, not the best. I mean, it's just kind of, we got our money back. It wasn't, you know, we didn't hit anything crazy. We didn't lose money. So it's kind of a wash, not, not anything terrible there. Um, but let's go ahead and since this is our first Smile World box, let's go ahead and look at our uh, full guaranteed value current ranking and see how Smy World ranks amongst the other boxes that we've done in prior videos. So taking a look at the current rankings for our full guaranteed value mystery boxes, we've got Epic Collectibles hanging on to number one, Pop King Paul still at number two, then we got Boom Loot at three, Toy USA number four, and now Smy World is coming in at number five with that 1.45% return on investment, which is not bad it's you know it's not anything crazy but we at least got our money back so can't really complain um, but what did you guys think of this box i i mean it it's whatever it's fine um at least this one i'm, I'm actually shocked that this one's worth 45 dollars um these two i knew were kind of more common but um yeah i mean it's it's something good that i can resell or trade or whatever so but let me know what you guys think. Write a comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Please subscribe. If you want to see the videos, make sure you do that. Um, and I will see you on the next one.